What's going on guys? This is Simon from SG and today we're gonna learn how to remove this coffee grinder has been added to your cart or your product has been added to your cart message on your WooCommerce store. So if you see this message and it gets kind of annoying, um, for example, let's say I add this product to my cart, it shows up each time and you may have upsells or cross sales on your cart page or whatever your, your use case may be, it may be annoying um, to always show that it's been added to your cart. So I guess here's another example. Um, you know, it's always showing that it's been added to your cart. So how do we remove this message? How do we do it the right way um, so it doesn't interfere with other things on our site? Well, we're gonna go to our WordPress dashboard and we're gonna plugins and we're gonna add a new plugin. And we're gonna use the code snippets plugin. So whether you like um, editing your site's files, SFTP or SSH, the code snippets plugin is an easy plugin just to use um, for little things like this if you don't want to add this to your functions.php file. So for example, hide cart message from cart page and I am just going to pull up right here and I'm gonna add this and I might just retitle this like that. Okay, so my notes are out of the way. Awesome. So I'm gonna click save changes and activate. But before doing that, just notice this has been added for each time we added the product to the cart. And now I am going to save and activate this snippet. Awesome, so we've saved and activate the snippet and we're gonna come back and we're going to add another product to our cart. So let's go to dark roast, for example. Awesome, and I'm gonna add the dark roast to my cart. And I can see I didn't get any, um, I didn't get any message that it was. So I can come back and let's just do another one for as an example. So I don't have a payment method for the subscription, but um, let's just go back to medium roast and try it. So as you can see, I didn't get a message. Um, the subscription product I added, this is just a test site, so I don't have a payment method that supports automatic recurring payments, so that's why the subscription message shown. But all the other products that I did um, is not showing this message anymore. Okay, cool. So the last thing I wanna cover real quick is if I remove this coffee grinder from the cart, I get this you know, coffee grinder removed. Do I want to undo it? So I'm gonna add another snippet. If you want to remove this as well, we can add another snippet and I either could add this right here or I could um, create a new snippet. So to make this just easier, I'm just gonna add this right here and I'm just gonna save my changes. Awesome, so I'm going to refresh my page and I'm gonna remove like the light rose product. And as you can see, I didn't get any um, notice. And if I come back here and I remove this again, the undo filter, and let's say I remove medium roast, I'm gonna see this message again. So I'm just gonna come back here and make sure it's like that and save my changes. So I can put these snippets in the description box below and to make keep things organized, you may want to create a new snippet just for this as well, just to organize all of them. I'm just gonna name this how to hide product removed, um, undo, right? How to hide this on our cart page. And now if I refresh this, and I remove this product, I'm not gonna see that notice. So let's just add another product to the cart just to give you an example. And I don't see any messages and if I remove it, I don't see a message besides your cart is currently empty, shop now. So that's it for today guys. If you got value out of this video, make sure you give me a like, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, it really helps out a lot. I'm trying to get to 3000 subscribers before the end of 2021. So. Click that like, click that subscribe, it goes a long way. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.